What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another vlog and I'm in Malaysia and I'm gonna be exploring a couple of areas around here. I'm in Bukit Bintang, which is kind of like the main area with a lot of lights, a lot of malls over here. I just took the monorail to get here, so we're gonna walk around the sports, so join me. Pretty sure the nighttime is gonna be nice, but remember, I got two more days here, so I'll probably come back in the night. This is, I've only been here like a few hours, so I'm still getting familiar with the city. Trying to get used to it, where to go and everything, but so far so cool, so I'm just going with the flow, so forgive me. If it's not the best quality, you know, like I say, I'm just exploring and being spontaneous where I'm walking. But yeah, pretty crowded, a lot of diversity, people from all walks of life. Yeah, this is awesome. And we got those Turkish one over here. They will feed you ice cream and then when you try to get it, they'll snap it out of your hand. <laughs> oh, oh, he got it, oh, he got it, he got it. And then look at all the crowd over here. As you know, here in Asia a few days ago, worldwide, but they have the uh, Chinese New Year. So it's a big deal over here in this side of the world to celebrate it. And there's more on the other side. Then ahead of me is the upscale mall pavilion. I might go in the inside and take a look at it and see what's going on. But so far this is amazing over here. Like I knew Kuala Lumpur was going to be amazing, but and so far within a few hours I've been here, I got here super early in the morning, took a nap and I haven't been disappointed with what I've seen so far. But I definitely got to come back here in the nighttime to see how it is over here, like eclectic and all that. This is a city with its own city, a lot of exciting things happening over here. Like, I don't know if you can see me, but there's a lot of crowd there behind me. I know in many other parts of Kuala Lumpur, it's being pretty quiet, but then over here is a huge crowd, pretty crazy. So I'm not really like a big fan of malls, but I know the malls here in Asia are like to another level. So there's tons of malls here, so I'm probably going to walk inside Pavilion just a little bit to see what's going on. So I'll show you guys. This is how we cross the crowded street in Asia. This is nothing. I know in Tokyo it's even worse. Japan, but... Tons of crowd. They got the fountain here. Pretty beautiful. So amazing. This is a big deal over here. They got the Chinese New Year in this mall. Wow. Pretty huge, but look how big this mall is. And I tell you, when you go to Asia, they're pretty much known for the multi-level malls. Like, it's massive. Wow. They decorated pretty nice here. It's like I was showing you Mega Mall in the Philippines. This one is, wow, massive. And there's like tons of malls out here. So, you see how nice it is. And that was a little bit of the inside of Pavilion Mall. And it's a pretty, pretty massive mall with the decorations of the Chinese New Year. And you see tons of people here just taking pictures. But yeah, like I say, it gives me vibes like if I'm in the strip in Vegas. With the malls, you know, the designs are pretty much similar, the floor. I'm gonna walk to the other side, see what can I find. But this area is called Bukit Bintang. And I know in the light, in the nighttime it must be nice. But let's check out some of the regular streets ahead. What a nice area, the streets, the people. You got an Arabian restaurant over here. Sisha or hookah, however we call it back home. Wow, look at this. It's like gold they sell over here. <laughs> and there goes the monorail of Kuala Lumpur. Most of the times when you Google Bukit Bintang or even KL, this is what pops up, this area over here. It's like the main area of the district. And the lights. Yeah, mostly like yeah, Middle Eastern restaurants over here. Then over here you can rent the scooter. That's something I didn't saw in Manila. Let me see, I guess it's also by an app. Seuss, that's the name of the scooter renting then. Here's a commuter you can get around. Then we're gonna go to the other side and it's like another nice area. Got a main McDonald's, but the neon like, what's up? <laughs> but the McDonald's is pretty cool. 
So let's see what's happening. As you know, Malaysia is known for the food. Here we got some Syrian food. Got the big shawarma. Look at the mass of people over here. Wow. Mandi. Wow. Makes you feel like you're in the Middle East. And this is the beauty about Kuala Lumpur. It gives you a vibe like you could be in India, you could be in China, you could be in any other country right here in the heart of Southeast Asia. But this is just amazing. Must be cool. What's up? <laughs> Hello. Wow, look at that. Maybe when I come back, I'll try that food. It looks like pretty awesome. You'll see the people over here queuing up. Must be probably one of the best kebabs you're gonna get around town. But yeah, if I walk over that way, it must be the Petrona Towers, which I've always seen that. Look at the monorail. Whoa. Wow. The monorail is modern over here. And like I say, when I was uh, in middle school, I've always watched the Petrona Towers, which is also, those are the tallest twin towers in the whole world. And I've always dreamed of seeing it in person. So I'm going to make my way over there. Like I say, forgive me if I'm not showing much. I'm just trying to get familiar with the city, wander around, but I'm doing like the bases today and then I'm gonna see if I can dig deeper into the city to other neighborhoods. There's tons of neighborhoods over here to explore. And one cool thing about the city is that you walk around, you see like massive skyscrapers, but then you end up in a neighborhood that doesn't have really much around, or it's like a regular neighborhood with a lot of food stalls. Like even in the touristy areas, you're gonna see like street food. I gotta tell you that that kebab joint, it must be like really popular to have that amount of crowds over there waiting. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make it to the Petrona Towers and I love how modern the city is. Modern, it's affordable for Western standards. Like I had a meal and it was only like roughly four bucks. Even when I was walking in Brickfield in Little India, I saw some of the menu or the food and it was roughly, if you estimate it, I forgot how much it ring it. I think it was like 1250 ring it, which I just roughly like $3 US. So pretty affordable here. And you get all these amenities and infrastructure, you know, for a really cheap price. So I'm walking, I'm starting to see the beast right there, the Petrona Towers, the tallest twin towers in the whole world. So now I just got to figure out how can I make it over to the other side and capture it. So stay tuned. And there you can see a lot of modern skyscrapers here in KL, Kuala Lumpur. A nice, lovely downtown. Then one thing I like about Kuala Lumpur is that they got pedestrian bridges that connect you from one side of the world to another one. Like here, for example, you see one, you could cross, then it takes you to the other side. So I walk literally like a skyway, like a long pedestrian bridge. It connects with other parts of downtown. Then we went underground and here you got the beauty Petrona Towers. I've always dreamed to see this in person. And here it is, it's like a beautiful structure of building, the glass, and they even got like a bridge there that connects you from one tower to another one with a recreational park. So let's walk around, see what can we find here. I love how peaceful it is over here. But look at this, I'm gonna see if I can walk forward and get a closer look at this building. So you got a map of the recreational park, there's even like a lake over here. Not sure where I'm, I'm standing, but yeah. Pretty nice. Beautiful how they mix the park with buildings. And like I mentioned in a lot of my previous videos before, I love the urban parks a lot. I love when cities have like parks around that surround with buildings. Now I'm gonna walk ahead. There's actually, I think it's a mall in front of the Petrona Towers. They got decorations of the Chinese New Year. And this is gonna be surreal. I'm gonna be really happy because I've always dreamed of being around here and to have it in front of me. It's amazing, you know. And then here you got the lake. They got the Suyamon, and you got this tall skyscrapers over here. A lot of people taking their selfies. Pretty light. I think if we walk over that way, there's a better view. Okay, this is just insanity. Pretty gorgeous. And here you got it. The Petrona Tower is right behind me. A dream come true to be around this beautiful park. It's just pretty gorgeous right here. Not sure if you can see the towers. I'm gonna walk on the other side of the park of the lake because I'm pretty sure over there I get a better shot of this amazing structure of building the Petrona Tower. So, so far it's a pretty big, uh, massive park. Look at these trees with the bamboos. I like it, it's pretty gorgeous. Pretty interesting, you know. 
And even if it's not brutally hot, it's pretty humid in this city. So I, that's one thing I heard about this city that it gets uh, super humid. So I can't even imagine like in the summertime. Oh yeah, here's even a better shot. Wow, look at this. Just beauty right here, gorgeous. So we're here, you climb the top of the hill and you get the view of all of this right here. Pretty nice, pretty beautiful, wow. Surreal for me to be here, like I've always dreamed of it. And nothing is impossible when there's something you want to do in life, just go for it. So it's a beautiful structure building, a beautiful park. Wow, a lot of people, they be taking their pictures over here. Cause it's pretty iconic. But yeah, definitely, I've only been here, like I say, first day here and I highly recommend that you guys come to KL, Kuala Lumpur. But also support other areas of Malaysia. I'm only here for a limited time, so I definitely got to come back to this country and explore like other, other cities like Penang. I heard Malacca is pretty good too. The other side like Suwawak, this is just like the capital. So like I said, I'm just cruising around to see what's going on, but then got other days and I'm going to check out probably the nightlife and the food over here that I heard is pretty much uh, top notch. Ahead of me, there's a bridge. It kind of resembles a little bit of uh, Central Park, but Malaysian version. This one's even nicer because it got the palm trees and it's pretty much more developed, like more modern. But I gotta walk around the bridge. You're probably gonna get some really dope shots, also the Petrona Tower. So sorry for repeating too much of shots, but it's just surreal to be over here. There's more over here to the other side. Let me show you another one right here with the palm trees. Wow. Just beautiful. That's all I gotta say. It's actually like a water park over there ahead of me. So there's a lot of things to do here. This is made out of a track material, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is designed for people to jog around. So it's not really like a big of a park, but it has a little bit of everything. Look at everybody taking their pictures or selfies. I mean, this is probably gonna be the icon right here. And then over here you get the best of the best. Super crowded area over here. And just over here you got one side of the park. It's pretty beautiful modern and then and over here you got the main attraction of the Petrona Towers. Whoop! Yeah, here's even better the view. So this is like a selfie haven and like an Instagram haven over here. <laughs> As I said in my previous videos, I'm a huge fan of skyscrapers. I love where tall rise buildings are and to be here to witness the tallest twin towers in the whole world. It's just amazing. It's just like the way I really designed that structure of building with glass and everything. With a mall ahead in the park, it's just something unique that I've never seen. This is another area with the fountain. Maybe in the nighttime it's nice too. But yeah, I've witnessed something like this in Vegas. I think Dubai has something also like the fountains over here. Just surrounded by the skyscrapers. This is probably another busy area you're going to see in Kuala Lumpur. But this is just like the touristy. Kuala Lumpur is much more than that. And then people from all background nationalities just hanging out here. So yeah. So most of my fellow people in the US, they spend a lot of money to go in Miami or places local which is nothing wrong but i think it's better if you try to travel a little further much more affordable here you're just going to spend more on the ticket but once you're here it's just surreal not only because you're seeing something different in a different city but also you get to experience the different cultures since it's a different type of country you know here to the guy with us you know for the chinese new year which it was over a few days ago but it's a huge deal here in southeast asia Free sister view of what's going on around here. So yeah, I just feel like a little kid every time I go to a new city and I love it so much, you know. And that's what I want to do with this channel, you know, that's why I named it Manny Explores. Exploring all over, whether it's a neighborhood, a new city, you know, we make it happen. So now I'm just gonna walk inside the Surya KLCC Mall. I'm not gonna really film much because you probably have an idea what a mall looks like, but I'm gonna see 
what is that? It's probably gonna be a massive mall. And then I'll probably wrap up the video. I think it's being a first great start here to Malaysia. And so far, it's still my heart of the country. So definitely a lot of videos coming up. Massive mall and then Petrona. So let's see what's happening inside. You can see it's a mall and it seems like it's a little bit of a high-end mall because of the stores that they have, but they got how massive this is. Here they got the decorations and then you go all the way up. Woo! So let me see if I can count. Literally like one, two, three, four, five. So five solid floors. So that's the thing about Asia. Most of the malls are like multi-level and they're literally like massive. So you can spend a whole day walking around so that was the end of my video i think i'll show you enough for today about kuala lumpur and wrapping it up here in this mall so i hope you guys enjoyed this video stay tuned for more be safe out there everybody god bless y'all and peace